It's November 24th, and we're going to start doing our oxalic vaporization treatments next week. Uh, we like to wait till the bees are completely broodless before we do that. We'll do two treatments, um, one next week, and then as soon as we're done uh, with the whole outfit, we'll go back to the beginning and do another one. The theory being that the vaporization treatment gets about 90 or 95 percent of the mites and I like to go back and get 90 or 95 percent of the 10 percent we left behind. We did that last year and we really had a, a quite an effect by doing that. Um, I've never seen any indication that uh, using the vaporization several times has any effect on the bees. Um, I know guys that use these big bazooka um, vapors, vaporizers that really put an extreme amount of vapors in the colony and they all report that they've never seen an issue. Of course we use the small ProVap 110 so we really meter out the correct dosage and I, I, again I don't feel, feel like doing multiple times is a problem. Anyway, the reason for this little video is that uh, these vapors can be quite harmful to your lungs and we take that very seriously. We've uh, purchased vaporizers from Home Depot, or I should say respirators from Home Depot in the past, the type that go around your mouth and your nose. And I had Jesse uh, get online a couple days ago and uh, get as much information he could about the proper cartridges. He actually called somebody at 3M and really got the lowdown on what works and what doesn't work. So I'm gonna let him explain what he found. Um, well, uh, what I found here was, uh, Oh, and first of all, let me say that uh, we've got some information that we're going to put in the video description uh, as far as uh, um, the line that I called to uh, get in touch with them about uh, getting the proper information, uh, where we got um, the respirator and the, res the, and the cartridges. Uh, and so I want to start with, uh, I got these um, five, 750 series. 753 series actually and the three actually stands for large uh, so uh, uh, the 7501 is actually small 7502 is medium and 7503 is um, large uh, I've got a large face large nose so I need I need a large respirator um, so um, I talked to him about the respirator, talked to him about uh, comfort, uh, since we'll be wearing these a lot, uh, going from yard to yard, and accessibility as far as having a bee, uh, bee veil on, and um, they said this was probably um, my best bet. Along with uh, the cartridges, they gave me two options. The first option is, uh, uh, let's see, I wrote this down, uh, 60921. Uh, handles oxalic acid uh, and 60923 will handle oxalic acid and formic acid which has been used as a varroa treatment uh, too. Um, so I went with the uh, the second one which is the 60923 so that in the event that we wanted to use formic acid we could use that for formic acid. Um, so um, part of what I want to also explain is um, uh, they were pretty specific about the way that you install this uh, and the way that you use these. The first thing is is that uh, they wanted to make sure that you knew that these things come apart. These things come apart so the headgear actually comes apart here. And you need to look at um, the exhal exhal exhalation flap, make sure it's seated properly and that it's uh, not damaged and the inhalation uh, flap that it's not disfigured. Uh, and so that's, uh, that's important to see. If anything on this thing is uh, broken uh, or misfigured, then it needs to be replaced. Uh, especially, um, I've had a little bit of oxalic acid in my lungs before. It's not, it's not fun, it's really not fun. Make you choke for a while. Um, so anyway, uh, everything on here is pretty easily to replace. It, put, it snaps back together really quickly, uh, quickly, like that. And then the uh, cartridge uh, fits on, let's see.
its own like that. And if y'all have any questions uh, as I'm putting this together, I'll, I'll answer them too. How often do you have to switch out your cartridges? Uh, 3M recommended um, between 30 and 50 hours or if you uh, start finding the uh, irritation uh, from the irritation from the uh, uh, oxalic acid. So um, one thing is, is that, uh, you know, between 30 and 50 hours, um, by the time we use this between 30 and 50 hours, our season for using oxalic acid will be up. So we will be replacing these every season that we use these every year. Um, Let's put one on John. Let's see how it looks. Okay, so the first thing John, is... You're the guinea pig. All right. First thing, John, is uh, you want to take the cradle. All right. All right, first let, let me get it. Let me get one and I'll do it with you. All right. So the way this works is uh, you want to you want to start with the cradle, All right. uh, and um, so the cradle goes on the back of the head there, All right. then goes down, and then you want to start with your top your top straps first. All right. Adjust your top straps. Yeah. Right. Then adjust your bottom straps. Okay. Cool. Yeah, it's tight. And now, you're right. pretty tight. Yeah, yeah, it looks tight on your face. <laughs> okay. It feels real good. Now, I, I know we went through this last year, but this is absolutely mandatory. If I, and forgive me, I'm not picking on you no, personally, but if I see an employee in a bee yard doing oxalic acid without one of these on, yeah. they're fired. Yeah, okay. okay. So it's very important that we wear this. Yeah. It's also important that we're going to wear safety glasses too at okay. the same time. I don't believe that the vapors bother your eyes very much, but we don't want to risk anything when you know when we're putting the the powder in the little cups for the vaporizers. We don't want to accidentally splash some in your eyes or oh, yeah, get some on your fingers and get it in your eyes. So you're gonna to have to wear the glasses too. That's mandatory too. Cool. All right. Okay, okay. So the next thing is is that we're gonna do what they call a, a positive um, positive pressure test okay. and a negative pressure pressed test. Okay. So the positive. Uh, pressure test. You put your hand right. up under here, hold, you know, make a seal. Right. Now uh, blow out and you'll feel it kind of inflate. Mm -hmm. Now, do you feel any air coming out from around your your seal? No, not at all. That's a good sign. Okay. And then the other one is the negative uh, pressure yeah, test, yeah, which yeah. is you put it on the sides and you and you and you pull in. Do you feel any leak in you, on no. your seal? It's good. Okay, that's a good sign too. Cool. The next thing is just uh, breathing normally, uh, moving your head side to side. Make sure this thing is move, move it up and down. Right. Yeah. Uh, talk a little bit. Make sure that it's stable. That it's not. Uh, gonna come off. That it's not going to come off or break the seal there. Yeah. Um, uh, this must be checked every time. Yeah. Um, we want to um, make sure that uh, when we get out of the truck, you know, as we're um, as we're setting up, one of the things that we do is we want to check and make sure that. We do a positive and a negative pressure seal test. Yeah, I um, that. Uh, we want to also make sure that we're using the right cartridge. Uh, mm -hmm. John, now that you've used that one, we'll put your name on that. Everybody will have their own personal map. Yeah, so okay. And put your name on that. Cool. That'll be yours for the whole season. Right. You also want to make sure that you got uh, the, the correct cartridge. Um, every time uh, the supervisor or uh, somebody, if you don't know, call 3M. They are very helpful. They've got a lot of information on their uh, website and videos on how to take apart the respirators, re um, uh, put, replace things on the respirators, and different things you need to look for when you're uh, examining your respirator. If your respirator, if the, if the, if the valves don't seat properly, they need to be uh, replaced. Uh, don't want to take any any chances with this. Next thing we want to talk about cleaning. Uh, we want to clean these after uh, every use. So um, after you get done for the day, 
wash it. You got to take the cartridges off. Wash it with uh, uh, soapy water. Uh, nothing that has like uh, um, any oils in it or anything. And uh, hang it to dry in a non-contaminated place, a clean place where it can dry without getting um, stuff on it. Not a good, not a good place is a warehouse or uh, a pole barn or anything like that. You want to dry these and hang them up, like uh, maybe in the laundry room or uh, the bathroom or something like that. We'll put the link to the 3M uh, information at the, in the video description. And uh, you can purchase these things on Amazon also, so we'll put a link to that. And uh, again, we take this very seriously. I would recommend anybody doing oxalic acid vaporization take this stuff very seriously. Uh, it only takes one, you only have to inhale it once until you understand. It's really uncomfortable. It it's not good for you. And that do it, Jesse? Uh, and, you know, from time to time, lately you won't be able to, but from time to time you can find these at uh, Sherman Williams, Home Depot, Lowe's, things like that. But uh, with the coronavirus and everything like that, uh, it's been kind of difficult locating uh, respirators and masks and anything like that. So. All right. Okay, thanks. I appreciate it. Mm-hmm.